I don't know if you guys saw this video. This is one of the funniest things that I've seen. This is a 59-year-old man out of Finland who identifies as a woman who goes by the name um, Minna Maria. And this 59-year-old man um, is fulfilling a childhood dream that he had of being an ice princess. This is a real story. This is absolutely factual. This is, this is happening before our very eyes. And this 59-year-old transgender ice skater, ice princess, is performing in front of audiences at some of the most prominent ice skating events around the world. Take a look. Nice modissa, vaikka syntyperäisin oinkin <laughs> mies. Ja tuota, sieltä on niin yhdeksän vuotta aikaa, eli siihen yhdeksän vuoteen sisältyy aika paljon. Eli kun lähdetään ihan nollasta, niin ihan jo sitä, että pysyy pystyssä kahdella jalalla, pysyy pystyssä yhdellä jalalla, ja sen jälkeen rupeaa niin kuin uskaltamaan tehdä jotakin siellä jäällä. Ja sitten alkaa pikkuhiljaa kisaamaan ja esiintymään näytöksissä ja niin edelleen. Että sanotaan, että aika kivaa I feel a little bit on bad ollut, for him here. I'm laughing, but I also feel bad. Väliin, että se sitten He's so, falling and he can't get up on the ice. Mutta tuota, eteenpäin mennään ja homma jatkuu. Mahtavaa. Näiden EM-kisojen slogan on tule sellaisena kuin ole. Okay, I do feel, I do feel a the tiniest bit of sympathy for him when he falls. I have to admit, I'm a compassionate person and he couldn't get up on the ice. That's, that's, it's sad. But a couple of things. First of all, um, that's a man. That's a man right there. But the craziest part of that video is not the nutty man, the nutty old man actually, who thinks that he's an ice princess. It is all the people in this arena pretending that he is a woman when he doesn't, he, he, he's not. He's not. It's absolutely bonkers um, for people to pretend that. Like, is this is this the condition that the human race is in that we have just decided to allow an old man to pretend to be an ice princess? And we're just gonna say, okay, you are what you are. For your enjoyment, here's an extra picture of Mina Maria um, performing at a different time. In fact, performing in Japanese white face. Now this is gonna just blow the woke, blow the woke mind here because do you support this man because his identity is transgender or do you cancel this man because for cultural appropriation? I would love to hear the woke debate on this, but take a look at this. So what do you, which do you think wins? Do you think in, in, the, in the game of intersectionality, which is a higher priority? Transgender or cultural appropriation? Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.